Alrighty, yellow, yellow. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's having a great uh, Saturday. Is it Saturday? Is it Sunday? Saturday. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a great Saturday. Um, we're just gonna be playing some Disney Dreamlight Valley. Hopefully, um, hopefully we'll complete some friendship quests and um. That's basically about it. But, uh, yee. So, oh, I didn't want to talk to the little squirrel. I wanted to check the mail first. Alright, so we got some paths and... Fencing, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's what those were. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, let's see. Let's go down to crafting. Just to clear out that blip. Um, we still gotta find more moonstone chests. Sadly, only like one spawns every day. Sometimes two spawns. Um, but hopefully we can get that soon so that way we can unlock everything. Ah, thank you, Purposeful, for the follow. Welcome, welcome. How you doing, hon? Hope you're doing good. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and do this. Because I found a sock offline, but I kept it so that way I could play it on stream. But, uh, let's go ahead and grab that. It's right over here. Alrighty. Hello, Randy! How you doing, hon? Hope you're doing good. I did accidentally talk to Kristoff and everything because I had to. Um, so that was a yikes. But... We'll go ahead and talk to Mickey, and then we'll talk to Merlin. So we'll go find where Mickey is first. He's in Scrooge's shop. There he is. Let's go talk to him. Doing good, I've been playing the new Hoyoverse game. Yeah! Honestly, I'm, I'm very excited. I'm hoping that tomorrow, um, I'm hoping that tomorrow my brain and like my body are okay so that way I can finish Pokemon. Um, because I really want to play the new game. <laughs> I started it today um, just to get like the character creation uh, done and everything and I'm like I'm itching to play it looks so fun but I'm doing pretty good thank you for asking I honestly like watching Silky play ah! first thank you for the follow I appreciate it how you doing hun um watching silky play like persona games and everything has gotten me into turn-based rpgs and everything and so i was like oh it's gonna be like genshin but no it's not <laughs> so i'm excited i do donald thinks the village is under invasion by sock stealing space aliens haha <laughs> yeah i've heard him talking about it I've been investigating to try to find the space alien. Stop them. Gosh, so you really think we've got space aliens stealing socks around here? <laughs> I know it. I'm on the trail of another clue. I found this knitted sock. Is it yours? I don't think so. It doesn't look like any of my other socks, so even if the forgetting made me forget, I doubt it's one of mine. Say, I think I remember somebody making those, though. It was somebody who used to take care of everybody in the village, including making sure our feet stayed warm. 
If I try real hard, I can almost remember what she looked like, but not quite. I bet she conjured these to give somebody special as a gift. Huh. Interesting. Alright, let's go find Merlin. And we'll go and talk to him. Alrighty. Um, let me check something really quick. Okay. Alright, um, let's go find Merlin. Oh, he's over at Remy's restaurant. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and head over there. All right, hello, Merlin. Here you go. Well now, what do we have- what do you have there, Lulu? Goodness gracious, my sock! I've been looking for this everywhere. A dear friend conjured these for me a long ago. They're my most cherished pair. When I hold them close, well, I can almost remember her face. Wait a moment. It looks like the sock has been a bit slobbered upon. Sorry. <laughs> No, no, there's no need to apologize, unless it's you who salivated on them, of course. There's someone going around stealing everybody's stuff and dropping it everywhere. You might have heard Donald talking about it. Hmm, yes, I have heard him going on about extraterrestrials of some sort. But we have enough magical muddles around here without worrying about that. So do you think Donald's quacking up the wrong tree, or have you noticed anything else go missing? Now that you mention it, someone's been pilfering books and causing a great commotion in the Dreamlight Library. Huh. Maybe I can find a clue in there. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's go check his library. I don't remember if his library is in the big castle or if it's in his, uh... If it's his house. So we're gonna go and we're gonna go look and see. Uh, yee. Go through here. With the trash? What trash? It's not- Oh! These are the trash! Duh! I'm a bit dumb sometimes. <laughs> Found a clue in Merlin's library. Pick it up. It's a little, like, husk thing. Mysterious Claw. Ooh. Very, very spooky. Alright, now where is Donald? Oh, he's over at his house. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So let's go ahead, head down here. We'll also open up this chest. And we got a coin. Or we got some money. Alright, 
Here you go, Donald. Oh boy, look at that. That's proof that piece of plot had to come from a space alien. Do you still have that strange device? You bet, and it's beeping a lot. I'm gonna put the claw piece in it and see what happens. So, it's all lit up. The screen says DNA match authorization authorization 100% complete. Please place beacon to initiate landing protocol. Oh? I think it means this thing is some kind of homing beacon. We need to put this down somewhere and then the alien spaceship will land. And then we can catch the sock stealing space aliens. Smart thinking. Now no one will doubt me the next time I see something suspicious going around here. Let's put it down on Skull Rock off Dazzle Beach just to be safe. Alright. Let us go do that. And then I think we unlock, uh, I think we unlock Stitch, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go through here. Furniture, oh gosh. Uh, let's do out. And we'll put it here. There we go. so much did you make stitches ship crash <laughs> I didn't mean for that to happen my ship is broken your fault I think your ship was malfunctioning even before it crashed it looked like you were still having some trouble or it looked like you were having some trouble steering it He's so freaking adorable. I love him. <laughs> I saw that blue alien hop out of his spaceship. I remember him from before the forgetting. His name is Stitch and he loves to cause trouble. But I think the forgetting made him even more trouble than before. Do you know what this means, Donald? You were right all along. There was a space alien stealing everybody's socks. I knew it and nobody believed me. I was the only one who had figured it out. Yes, you're right, but we haven't- we can't have Stitch running around the village destroying stuff. We've gotta catch him. But how? Well, his spaceship got destroyed. I guess that was his only place to live. He seemed pretty mad about it. Maybe we could start by asking your Uncle Scrooge to make a home for him. That's a good idea. That way Stitch can wreck his own house instead of mine. <laughs> Alright, Donald. Alright. Uh, now we just gotta place his house. Oh, geez, that's big. Okay. Um. I feel like. I feel like we'll put it there. And... 
and uh, let's pay for it and invite Stitch to the valley. that we blue lad is running mock all over the valley isn't he a might <laughs> isn't he might destructive all that property damage ouch my wallet h aches just thinking about it jeez we gotta make him his own place that he can wreck as much as he likes and let's make that literally used all of our gold Alrighty. Bada bing, bada boom. I think we have everyone. I think we're only missing Eric. But we practically have everyone. Let's go talk to Stitch. You again. Ba 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 wanted to apologize we didn't mean to wreck your spaceship to make up for it we built a special place in the village just for you well you probably don't remember this place because of the forgetting dum, 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 dum. What sorts of things did you put in your ship? Lots of stuff, socks, books, oh geez, night thorns. Interesting. The night thorns made my head not good. So I got lost. Oh. Alright. Ooh! Oh, okay. I got excited because I thought it was a moonstone uh, chest. This chest holds some socks. Uh, I'm gonna open them. Ooh, we got a bunch of thigh highs. Nice. Look at that! Nice, nice. Alright. Uh, let's do that and let's go down here to friendship. Oh, we've practically, like, done everything. Um, cause if I go to collection characters, yeah, we're still missing one character, which is Prince Eric. But we have everyone else, so that's not too bad. Alright, uh, let me mess with my graphic setting. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's see. What was it? Wheat? Wheat, butter, the dandelion syrup. A glittering herring. So let's go and cook that. We need butter though, so we should hit up Remy's first. And I don't know if we have any wheat. Oh, we can buy wheat. Cool. Bye. And I don't want one of these. Uh, 
And let's head over to Remy's. Do you have enough room for butter? Yeah, we do. Buy that. Haha, uh, we have 69 gold. <laughs> Pretty nice, if I do say so myself. Let's see if we can make it from here. Was it wheat, butter, dandelion syrup, glittering herring? There we go! Arendellian fish pie. Oh, did we make the Arendellian pickled herring? How do we get that? Or did I already get that? I guess we'll check our uh, we'll check our inventory. Like our storage and everything and see we have it. Not 100% sure that we do. But we'll double check. Uh, not one of these. And not one of these. Um. How do we make Arendellian pickled herring? What was it? Lemon, onion, garlic, and then a spice. And a herring. Pretty sure it's just a normal herring. Right? Probably. We don't have it, right? Yeah, I guess not. Uh, so we need a herring and we need lemon. Lemon and onion? Was it? Yeah. We need lemon and onion. And there's an onion right here. And lemons grow over here. And we just need a herring. Which hopefully, um, hopefully Moana, uh, caught some. Crossing fingers. We got a herring. So now we're just gonna flip back home.
and we're gonna autofill. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. All right, let's go bring them to Elsa. Where is Elsa? Oh, she's in a she's in Scrooge's shop. Awesome. dishes look wonderful. Now let's see how they taste. That was delicious. The dishes remind me both of Arendelle and the friendship I found here. That sound that's been calling to me, I hear it again and more memories are coming back to me. Before I left to go back to the enchanted forest, I helped you bury something, a chest near the ice cavern. But I can't remember what's inside. I think we should go get it. Alrighty. Pick up Elsa's secret chest near the ice cavern. Ooh. Secret chest, you say? She said it was near the cavern. Oh, here it is. We got two things from it. Here we go. now you wanted to create a treasure hunt we each hid something special from our past around the village and i suppose this is what i chose to hide goodness this arendellian pickled herring must be very strong by now here you should have a jar after all you helped me find the chest again thank you i hope you enjoy it oh and before you go i've been thinking about the new purple crest it looks almost identical to the one we found before. I'm certain it will fit into another one of those holes in the wall of the ice cavern. Assuming the ice cavern is in here. Right? Or is this not considered the ice cavern? What is this? Okay, cool. Awesome. Let's talk to Elsa again. Thank you for all your help, Lulu. It's so nice to have a little piece of Arendelle here and to remember my past in the village. You're welcome to come and share Arendelle and pickled herring with me whenever you'd like. I'm looking forward to exploring more of the village and, of course, solving the mystery of the cave. We're still missing two crests, but I'm sure we can find them together. Alrighty. When does the next quest unlock? I guess we don't know. <laughs> um, I do have 
red nest uh nest tertium i do have that pretty sure let's talk to her though we'll just breeze past it all right so let's go grab the the red one at least i'm pretty sure i have the red one All right, um, actually, let's go, I literally just went in a circle, <laughs> um, let's go ahead and go over here, first I'm gonna eat this, so that way we can go zoom, um, there is nothing that I want over there. stuck on a rock. Alright, let's zoom down here. Hello, Mickey. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. I do have red ones. Cool. So we'll grab these for Elsa and we'll give them to her. Um, we want this scrap of paper that's over here. No. It's in this chest. All right. Let's transfer that then, and then we'll talk to Merlin. All right. Where is Elsa now? He is still in Scrooge's house, so we're gonna go in here. Um, where is she? Oh, she was down there. Whoops. Hello, Elsa. Let's go ahead and give you this. And she leveled up, which is pretty epic. Um. Oh wait, we can actually start a new quest line with her. Cool, we will keep that in mind. After we go through, uh, what we have so far, then we'll, uh, go back to her. Alright, uh, Merlin is in Remy's restaurant. got there Lulu aha my notes why well, I've been looking everywhere for those and it's a good thing you found them too I wouldn't have wanted them to fall into the wrong hands I couldn't understand what they said must be important wizard business 
Uh, I suppose that's true in a sense. You see, I fear there's nefarious business afoot, so I began noting down my observations. Mother Gothel and Ursula have been meeting all around the village. Those two are up to no good, I just know it. Ah, I'm trying to extend the little, like, footrest I have on my chair. You can't trust either of them. That's why I've been keeping track of their little meetings. Four times now I've caught them scheming together. They've ex been exchanging all manner of, well, of mysterious ingredients and vials, and the moment I draw near, they clam up and run off. Interesting. Of course they are, but I suppose we should get some proof of exactly what they're up to. I'm afraid my magic only shows me so much. Ursula and Mother Gothel both trust you far more than they do me. Perhaps we can use that to our advantage. I suspect that you could get close enough to hear what they're scheming about. Uh, I'll only do it so you'll leave them alone. <laughs> Go investigate and you'll see Ursula and Mother Gothel could prove quite a thorn in our side if they drink. Join forces. Alright, whatever you say, Merlin. Now, I may not be able to, uh, cog cognosticate. Interesting. But I do know precisely what they'll be meeting next. They gather each day in the Glade of Trust. They already met there earlier today, so you'll have to wait until tomorrow to catch them. Remember the Glade of Trust. Alright. So, we have to wait until tomorrow. Um, this one we can't really do. We could do this one. So we gotta bring the Gleaming Dusk Fragment to Mother Gothel, which I think we already have that in our inventory. We do. Alright, let's go find where Mother Gothel is. Go here and let's go to that and she's by her house so we'll just teleport over there oh let's get this uh, moonstone chest first though Mother Gothel, here you go. Look what you've accomplished, Lulu. Your gardening habit is finally useful for something of value. Likely the last since will soon be finished. While you were gone, I restored the noon fragment. It was arduous work leaving it on the windowsill under the midday sun. And now that the fragments are together, it's time to attempt the spell. Fragments reunited, glow for all to see. All the sun meteorites, let them come to me. Ooh. All my grueling labor has come to fruition. There will be many sun meteorites to gather. Most of them have fallen over the forgotten lands. Hurry, gather them quickly. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and... Head to the Forgotten Lands. Whoops. And we'll just go... Boom. Alright, so there's five apparently. Oh, so it's these things. So we got one. We're also going to pick up some of the dark wood that's here as we find them. There's two. And 
there is three. Uh, four. And let's see, where is five? There's five. All the way in there. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, let's just fast travel to here. We'll bring them to Mother Gothel. What a good little gopher, now for the most important part, once again, it requires the intervention of someone wielding dream light magic. Here are the fragments, right? Use the fragments around the heart of one of the sun meteorites to weld them together. Use one of your crafting stations, then once the sunstone is complete, again, bring it to me. Alright. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to use the crafting station that's right outside of Goofy's house. That. Easy peasy. Here you go. The sunstone, finally. I can already feel its effects. I'll stay young and beautiful forever. Alright. Of course I do, dear. Maintaining my youth is only a fraction of the sunstone's power. When I place it in the giant willow, it will grace us all. I am glad I let you help me, Lulu, getting the scroll from that doddering fool, Scrooge. Going to the mystical cave and finding the fragments. For being so good at running errands, I want to give you a present. I know you'll love it, and no, 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 don't give me anything in return. Though, of course you want to. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to bathe in the rays of the sunstone now. You should really consider it too. You look absolutely exhausted. Just teasing, dear. Ta-ta. Alright. Oh, we got a- we got a mirror. All right. Um, I want to say that that's the end of the friendship. Yeah, that is the end of friendship quests for Mother Gothel. All right. Um, so we can't do this until tomorrow. We can't do this. Um, we'll do. Yeah, we'll do this one. Let's go ahead and grab the ingredients that we found, which is in our chests at home. And we'll go from there. I think we put them in here. Alrighty. Let's go talk to Remy. Uh, where did he go? He was literally just outside. Oh, he's in his house. Or outside of his house. So we'll bring these to him. Here you go, Remy. Yes, my bag of ingredients. I thought I'd never get this bag. 
I had a little misunderstanding with one of the raccoons in the Forest of Valor. He grabbed the bag and ran off. I thought I'd never get to finish my errands. Can I help you with your errands? Actually, now that you mention it, I could really use your help. What do you need? Well, these were the ingredients for some special deliveries. I wanted to make meals to thank everyone who stayed behind to take care of the valley during the forgetting. That's thoughtful. Aw, oh, thanks. I figured it was the least I could do after Mickey took care of my recipes. There's only one problem. I've been pretty busy with the restaurant, so I hadn't, haven't had time to cook all the meals I had planned. If I gave you these ingredients, do you think you could finish making me some meals for Merlin, Mickey, Mr. McDuck, and Goofy? You've been a pretty great sous chef in the past. Of course. Thanks, Lulu. I really appreciate it. Here, take the ingredients. Just make sure to cook them fresh, and they've definitely got to be five stars. Come talk to me if you need any help thinking of meals. All right. Oh jeez, I forgot our inventory is full. Um, oh, I guess I have to talk to him. Hold on. Uh, let's eat. Yes, and we should have enough space now. All right, so we have to go through the whole dialogue again. All right, so we have to make five star meals. Which shouldn't be too hard. Right? Yeah, I just have to make four five star meals. All right. We will figure out what to do. Go ahead and head in here to empty out our inventory. And then we'll see what we can make with the ingredients we already have. Alright. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um... Oops. Let's see. Um... We don't have any sugar cane. So I'm guessing if we get sugar cane... Sugar cane and some more fruit. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> Seems like that's like the the easiest thing that we make. So we just need sugar cane and fruit and one more. Oh wait, no, just sugar cane and fruit. Okay. So hopefully they're selling sugar cane over at Goofy's little area. But we'll have to see. We'll also look at uh, Wally's little garden and everything to see if there's any sugar cane over there before we head to the beat. And it seems like there is. Um, you know what? Let's actually harvest everything. Or at least as much as we can. And that wasn't as much as I thought we would get, honestly. So let's eat those and then we'll grab raspberries as our fruit. Okay. 
And no, there is no... There is no sugar cane. Uh, let's see what we can make with what we have so far. Not what I meant to do. I meant to fast travel. down here Try and make and we could only make one um let's see what else can we make a potato leek soup we need onions okay so if we can get onion, that would be good. Like this? No. Let's go over here and see if we can toss stuff. Um, we can honestly get rid of these flowers. Let's go ahead and harvest. Uh, let's harvest what Wally has in his little garden and see what else we can make. And if anything, we can wait for the hurricane to grow, but I want to see what all we can make without that for right now. Uh-oh. Um... These fish. All right, so we got a majority. Um, let's head back up here. this now we can cool let's see what else we can make can we make this we can oh we can make one more of these cool Awesome, awesome, awesome. And let's go and bring that to Merlin, Mickey, Scrooge, and Goofy. And then after we finish this quest and everything, I will uh, go on a quick little BRB and then I will be back. Alright. 
So, Mickey is outside of his house. Merlin is in Remy's restaurant. Uh, Goofy is in his house. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We'll give Mickey this. I whipped it up with a little help from Remy. We wanted to thank everyone who took care of the village during the forgetting. It's our way of showing gratitude to you for taking care of Remy's uh, recipes. But, <laughs> gosh, I was glad to do it. I'm just sorry for forgetting where I buried so many of them. Thanks, Lulu, with you and Remy around. I just know this village is going to keep getting better and better. All right. Let's bring this to Merlin and Scrooge. Hello, Scrooge. Does he not want that meal? Guess not. Okay. Hey, now that's about a fi Ugh, as fine a meal as I've ever seen. Are you just giving something like that away for free? Consider it a little thank you payment from me and Remy for taking care of the village during the forgetting. Thank you, Mr. McDuck, for keeping the village economy going. Well, it just had about ground to a halt before you got here, but I appreciate the gesture. A wee bit of gratitude is worth more than all the girl, all the gold in the Yukon. In sentiment, that is. Alright, let's talk to Merlin. And then we will talk to Goofy. Hopefully he doesn't fall asleep by the time that we get to his house. And here we go, Merlin. I guess he wants the pizza. Well then, what's all this? I don't recall requesting such an extravagant meal, though I am a bit peckish. It's a thank you meal courtesy of me and Remy. We wanted to show our gratitude to you for taking care of the village during the forgetting and for being the greatest wizard in any century. Oh goodness, why, that's quite kind of me both, though I hope you don't think I stayed behind in the valley for accolades. Actually, I am, well, I'm afraid I haven't the faintest, faintest idea what to say. I suppose I never expected a thank you, I was simply doing what was right. No need to say anything, just enjoy. I shall. Acts of kindness like this meal are what holds this valley together, Luke. go and bring this to Goofy. Hopefully he's still in his house. Yep, he is. Cool. Here you go, Goofy. Why can't I give you this recipe? I'm so confused. 
I don't know why I can't give it to him. Do I have to make something else? Hmm. Um. Alright. I guess I'll just eat it. Um. We can maybe make the salad? Either that or I think we have enough to make, um. I think we can make another little pizza. I wonder if he has a kitchen. Pretty sure he does. Yeah, he does. Um... Oh, we want the pizza. Which is tomato cheese wheat. Tomato wheat. Two vegetables, which is seaweed pepper. Let's see if we can give him this. Here you go, Goofy. No? can't I give you it? Very confused. Do I have to make something else? Um... Very weird. I guess I have to make him something else. Can we make this? We cannot. Um... I honestly have no clue, so... I'm just gonna skip that quest. Um, let's go and do this one, but before that, I am going to take a quick little BRB, about like five minutes. I gotta take my ADHD meds and stuff, and um, yeah, so I will be back very shortly. Oh, there's two of them? What the fuck is this? Dude, no! Fuck off! Fuck you! Fuck your mom! Dude, what the fuck? I'm so sorry. Anyways. Um. You're a fucking bitch! No, I'm losing it! 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 Bitch! Fuck! Whore! Damn it! I was so close, dude! Oh, no! No! I was so close! See, it's not hot tub streams in the month of Spooktober. It is, uh, cauldron streams. <laughs> Side effects are, uh... to work. You gotta know where they are at all times, alright? How else are you gonna clap them cheeks? Go like this. 
Just, uh, whoop. Hi. <laughs> Ow, what the fuck? <laughs> there was a creeper. <laughs> what the fuck? Exactly, exactly. I'm just a pro pegger. Duh. Why do you think I'm playing Peglin? Christ. Oh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ooh. Ooh. No, no, no. <laughs> joking you don't need any coins then how about the lovely rare extra special badge that i have we'll do that smile with kindness all righty yellow yellow i am back all righty uh let's go ahead and continue and uh yee. so we gotta get a seashell from moana so let's go and find where she is. She's by the ocean. Okay, cool. Hello, Moana. It's so great to see you. Uh, let's do this. Hi, Lulu. While you seem busy, can I help you with anything? Ursula told me to talk to you. Sea Witch? Are you sure it's a good idea to listen to her? Uh, she's hungry for power. Yeah, she reminds me of a great crab I met. Uh, hope you don't get caught in whatever she's up to. You said she asked you to get a seashell from me? Well, I did find this on the beach. I thought it was a gift from the ocean, but maybe it's a gift to you. Be careful. My inventory is not full. Okay. So did I get the seashell? No, I didn't. What the heck? I don't understand the glitches I'm experiencing today. Inventory is not full. Okay. Thank you. Did I get it now? I did. Okay, cool. My inventory is not full, though. I might have to restart the game soon. Anyways. Uh... Aquamarine, squid, empty vial. Okay, that's gonna take a while. Um, let's go talk to Wally then. I'm gonna save like all the grindy stuff and everything for stuff that I can do offline. So that way, while I'm waiting for stuff to grow, um, and like decorating the inside of my house, I will 
have space or have something to do while I'm waiting for stuff to respawn. So that's basically what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do the less grindy stuff and then once we get to the point where there's too many or we can't progress any further then we'll just end stream. Go ahead and just toss all these stuff in here. Um, and let's go talk to Wally. Because I'm currently working on a storage room and everything and hoping to get it all organized and such. So, I'm excited. Very, very excited. Alright. Now, Wally, hopefully, by his house. No, he is not. Uh, oh, he's in Scrooges. Okay, cool. He's up there currently spazzing out. Hello, Wally. I found a memory and I saw you in it. We need to figure out what it means. Uh, I know the memory is kind of warped, but do you know what that machine is? Sounds like you recognize it. Can you tell me what it is? Uh, sorry, I forgot who I was talking to. I'll try to guess. The machine is a communication device? No. Okay. Is it part of a spaceship? No. Uh, is it a trash collector? No. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna be able to guess this. You want me to follow you? Okay, lead the way. Oh, search Wally's house for electronic components. Cool. I feel like the game is definitely buggy at the moment, but we'll see. Go ahead to his house. Whoop. And they're basically right here. Let's bring these to Wally. There you go. It's the machine we found in one of your garbage keys. Is that the machine in the memory? Alright, we've got to fix it. You seem really excited. I bet you're good at repairing things. Okay, I'll follow your, your lead. Alright, so what do we do? Follow Wally. Okay. Alright. See where we're gonna go. He's moving so slow. Are we going to the castle? I'm assuming that's where we're going. He's moving very, very slow.
Is he gonna come through? Or not? I'm very confused. Where did he go? Oh, now he's zooming through. Okay. I guess I basically reset him. Okay. Talk to him. You're gesturing towards the castle. Do you want to go back to your realm? Okay, I'll go see if I can find something. go and explore his realm to see uh, if we find any components. Possibly? Probably in this, like, dog areas. Also here. Ah! There we go. Cool. Found one, so we're gonna go ahead and head back. Right, is he by his house? No, he's in Scrooge's. Okay. And there he is. Here you go, Wally. Seems like the... I don't know what that is, is missing <laughs> one last thing. Some tinkering parts. I should be able to craft those with a crafting station used by using some iron. Alright. How many do we need? Twelve? Yikes, that's a lot. Okay. Six, nine. Oh, and then we just have to craft it. Cool. Oops. Also, I need to craft one of these for Ursula's thing. And let's bring it back to Wally. Uh, actually, let's do our daily conversation with him. 
that way he gets some experience and then we'll do this here you go the machine is fixed uh so we fixed the machine but i still don't know what it does hi you're raising your hand like we're in school do you know what it does is it a machine that makes memories no is it a machine that breaks things no is it a machine that finds memories? Ah! And the memory is broken because the machine was broken. Now that we've repaired it, I wonder if more memories will appear. Interesting! Alright. Uh, the game is currently... buggy for me. Uh-oh. Might have to close it and then reopen it. Hopefully it saves, though. Okay. Close, and then I'm gonna reopen. And hopefully that fixed everything. Alright, hopefully we didn't lose any progress. I'm hoping okay we did didn't lose any progress cool awesome um really do this so I guess what we'll do is the Ana one. Oh my gosh there's a lot all right uh, let's go find where Anna is. He's in Remy's restaurant still. Oh! Actually, let's go talk to Goofy. Maybe since we, uh, reset the thing, maybe we'll be able to, uh, give him... The meal. I'm hoping we're able to at least. Hello, Goofy. Can I please give you this now? Cool, I can. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Who is it for? It's a little gift from me and Remy to you. Thanks for taking care of the village. Aw shucks, I'm speechless. Earth to Goofy. Oh sorry pal, I was just being speechless like I said. Okay Goofy. 
Thanks, Lily. I can't wait to get my favorite double-ended fork spoon and dig in. Nice. All right, let's go talk to Remy. by his house. Wait. There he is. Hey Lily, you're back. Did you have time to bring those minerals to Merlin, Mickey, Mr. D McDuck, and Goo? How did they react? Did they enjoy them? They were really happy. That's great, I'm glad to hear it. Hey, while you were taking care of all that, I thought of a special meal I could make for you. Aww. Here you go. One to three course thank you for everything you do around here. Aww. Well, sweet. Ah! Thank you for the follow! Welcome, welcome! How you doing, hon? Um, let's see. Let's go talk to Elsa, um, because Elsa wanted the ranch salad, I believe. Lily, something's happened in the ice cavern and I need your help. Can you spare some time? Sure, what's wrong? While well, I was exploring, trying to find more about the sound, the one I hear coming from the crests we found together. But then I touched the statue of Anna, and ice started to grow from the ground. Ice I couldn't control. So I left before I got stuck inside. I think some sort of protection spell to keep whatever's hidden in the cave safe. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Thank you, Lulu. If you'll follow me, I'll show you. Alright, first of all, though, let me give you ranch salad. Oh, it's Mediterranean salad. Whoops. Okay. I thought it was ranch salad. Whoops, whoops. Alright, let's go through here. Let's grab our pickaxe. Is this where we need to go? This is bigger ice blocks. They feel different somehow, and the sound seems to be coming from one of them now. No matter what I do, I still hear it. Almost as if it is the magic in this cave and is trying to protect something. It's keeping out anything it doesn't recognize. Maybe we need to try something different. We tried the warmth of summer, now we'll try the cold of winter. I'm thinking another potion. To start with, I'll find some flowers and you can use your powers to freeze them. Then my pickaxe will have the best of both worlds. That sounds like a very good idea, Lulu. Alright, what do we need? White daisy, red falling, penstemon, and pink bromelain. Interesting. Um, pink bromelade is, bromelade is the big ones, right? Let's see, let me go down to foraging. Yeah, it's these guys. And then... 
white daisy, which you find in Peaceful Meadow. What was the other one? So Plaza, Peaceful Meadow, and Sunlit Plateau. That shouldn't be too hard. Bromelade, or not red bromelade, red falling hemstamon, and then we need a pink bromelade, which it's not those, it's like one of these, which there's one on the other side, cool. There's none on this side. Does not seem like. Alright. We'll grab one of these. Then, we'll travel to Peaceful Meadow, and hopefully there's a white daisy. yellow daisy I don't see any white daisies oh there's another little chest back here cool let's open it up awesome oh here's the daisies right cool uh where is Elsa. Here you go. Huh? She at Remy's? No, she's in Scrooge's. Cool. So we'll just teleport here. And we'll give her the flowers. And there she is. There you go. Oh, these are lovely. Now for a little ice. There. Alright. Those are pretty. What else do you think we'll need? Since we want to make it all about winter, let's add even more ice to the mix with ice chunks from the ice cavern. A vial of freezing water from the frosted heights and some snow to make it even chillier. I'll get everything and craft the cold of winter potion myself. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab all of this. And we just need three snow. Which shouldn't be hard to get. So we'll go in here. We just need five of them. There's one. 
two, three, four, five. I can't grab more? Okay. Uh, let's grab the vial. And then we'll grab snow. Now the real question is, where can we get the vial? Assuming right here. Oh! And then we just need the snow. Kristoff is selling them. We'll go and buy those. And we'll go and craft it. And we'll go into Scrooge to craft it, just in case we have to talk to Elsa again. Bada bing, bada boom, we're Elsa. Which I'm just assuming she's not in. So we'll go see where she's at. Oops. Uh, no, she is in Scrooge's. What the heck? I didn't see her. she is. Alright, here you go. This potion is powerful, Lulu. My magic can feel it. Here, you should have it back. Alright. I'll just apply it to my pickaxe like this. Let's hope it worked. Shall we try it on the large chunks of ice in the cavern? All right, now hopefully we'll be able to break those. And uh, yee. Got some snow. This. Ooh! Got another crest. So we'll go ahead and place that in. And we're just missing one more. With that crest, we're just missing the last one. I wonder where it could be. I'm sure we'll have an answer soon enough. I hope you're right. Thank you for your help, Lulu, and for your friendship. With your pickaxe so enchanted, no ice will stop you now. And I hope that we can solve the mystery of the cave wall and that strange sound soon. 
Every time we investigate, more of my memories come back, so I'm sure we can get to the bottom of this puzzle together. Alrighty. Um, let's go and talk to Anna. And then we'll uh, continue to unlock everything. First, though, we're going to go break all of the ice that we can. So now we don't get stopped by anything. Which means that we fully unlocked every area in this game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because now I can break these. Haha. -ha. Look at that. Now we have access to everything. Every area. There's some memories. Ooh. Go ahead and open this as well. Oops. And we'll check what this memory is. The sparkling snow up here is beautiful, but burr, it's so cold. I better remember to bring a warm coat, hat, and mittens next time I go exploring. We've almost got every, uh... Every, uh, old ruler journal thing. It's pretty nice. And let's go ahead and break these as well. So that way we have full access to everything. And we got a ton of snowballs. And I think that's everything unlocked. Um, so let's go to Remy's and we'll talk to... Uh, actually, you know what? We'll talk to Woody. talk to him. Hey Lou, I figured out what happened to the other alien toys. Do you have some time to talk about it? Tell me everything. Well, I tried to track them down, but then I remembered something. Those little guys have always lived inside of that claw machine because they can never learn to stop acting like toys around you and the other villagers. But now the claw machine's broken and it's my fault they don't have a home anymore. Uh, I know, I know, but we still gotta make it right. We'll have to craft a new claw machine so they'll have a place to live. Here, take the claw machine pieces you found before. Alright. Oh, and the claw. Turns out that thing's indestructible. And we'll need a few other things too. I talked to Kristoff and he said he it'd take some hardwood, iron ingot, and glass. Alright. Let's, uh, craft the new claw machine. I think we have, like, all the items that we need. Hopefully, at least. We do. Cool. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, meet with Woody inside the carousel. Gotcha. That we shall do.
All right, and let's bring claw machine down. There you go. Nice job, Lulu. That looks great. Hello, Michael. How you doing, hon? Even better than the claw machine that broke. Now we just need to find the rest of the alien toys. Sure wish I knew where to start. Let's ask Buzz. I'm sure he'd love to help. You're right, since they're all space toys, they've always had a special connection. Let's go see him. Alright, let's go talk to Buzz. I'm doing good on you? I'm doing pretty good, thank you for asking. Glad that you're doing good. Alright, real question is... Oh, he's in his house. Okay, cool. I was like, where is Buzz? Uh, greetings. Do this. Ah, Lulu, just who I was looking for. There's something we need to discuss. On my last patrol, I heard an explosion and then an alien fell from the sky. I know we have aliens scattered around all around the village. Woody and I are on a rescue mission. Good for you, Lulu. I've located some of the alien toys around the valley. You know where they are? Why didn't you pick them up then? Well, two of them are buried in the ground, one's on Dazzle Beach, and the other one's in the Glade of Trust. I've got a lot of features, but I don't have a magic shovel to help me. And there's one stuck in a block of ice near a waterfall, maybe if you had something to break it. All right. I did hear a squeaking sound coming from Scar's cave, but I don't think he'd take kindly to me barging in. I was in the process of organizing a rescue mission, but if you're on the case, I'll leave this in your capable hands. All right. Let's go find them. Alright, so it says under Dazzle Beach's sand. Like, where? I'm assuming there'd be like a glowing spot and everything for like where? Oops. Not what I meant to do. But to go here. Nope. Uh, so not on this little island. Maybe in here? Nope. Not gonna be over there. on this side. Not what I meant to do. Here? What the heck? Is it just like in a random area? Like there's no indicator for where it is? Seems like that's how it's gonna be. this quest. 
So I think what I'm gonna do is just not do that. Let's talk to Moana since she's right here. Oh wait, no, they're right here. Oops. Uh, let's see, can I eat something? I I not pick them up there we go there we go cool um let's go up here Cause it says frozen in ice near a waterfall, so obviously it's gonna be over here. Yeah, it's gonna be right there. Alright. Now here yeah honestly the game was like um no you're not gonna give up here you go okay so it says in the ground near the giant willow All right, and then the last one is in Scar's Cave. And there it is. All right, let's go and bring it to Woody. And is he by his house still? Or is he somewhere else? Nope, oh, he's by his house. Cool. Real question is where? He's not there anymore. What the heck? Bruh. <laughs> Would he literally, I guess, ran past me or something? Cause I was like, what? But there he is, here you go. we found them all great job partner so i can't exactly remember how many of them there were i hope there aren't any more lost in the valley anyway i'll bring these guys to their home which thanks to you is brand new i sure appreciate your help lulu now the only thing left to do is figure out how to turn on the carousel lights i'll keep working on them all righty uh-oh Oh no. Why do I have a feeling there's a lot more? <laughs> uh oh. 
All right, is Buzz in his house? He is, okay, cool. Hi, Buzz. I've completed my parole. Uh, my patrol. All's quiet in this quadrant. Alright. Hello, Lou. Just the Space Ranger I was looking for. I have another mission for you. It's a code G7B. Uh... Code's G7B is a search and rescue. Remember those aliens that wandered away from Woody's carousel? At the time I suspected a few were unaccounted for. Oh no. <laughs> and I was right. I ha now have intel that many of them are somewhere in the village. Oh gosh. Precisely, those toys could be out there frightened and disoriented. I have- And have you seen the size of the squirrels around here? They could turn those aliens into chew toys in no time. Okay, where should I start looking? We'll need to do a survey of each- every sector in the village. There's no telling where the aliens might have gone. Toys are highly skilled at hiding in the backs of closets, behind beds, and between couch cushions. Got it, I'll look everywhere in the village. Oh, and one final thing. These aliens can be a bit shy. They might not all come out of hiding at once. Keep an eye out for them while you complete your regular duties. I suspect they could pop up in multiple locations. Ew. Anyways, what was your quest? Because you have a quest. I have a mission of the utmost importance for us. We need to gather intel on a previous operation in this quadrant. What do you say? Alright. I was patrolling for threats near the river in the Forest of Valor when I was struck by a strange feeling. It was like I'd been there before. I believe it might have been the site of an impressive feat of heroism, but I don't remember what it was. Huh. Where in the Forest of Valor did it happen? I was walking along the river, but I can't be more precise than that. Let's go investigate the river in the Forest of Valor. It's the best place to start. I like that plan, Lulu. Let's go. Just remember, whatever transpired happened long ago, we might have to dig to find the answer. Alright. Let's go to the river in the Forest of Valor and see what's up. Do you want to eat this spring chocolate? So we'll go ahead and do that. Search for a buried clue about Buzz's past along the river in the Forest of Valor. I'm assuming it might be here. Is that it? No. It is not. The by the river it might be here. this oh so there's scar and then there's buzz flying interesting fascinating i remember this i was locked in combat with a scar fellow why were you fighting that's the thing I don't remember. Let's go see Scar. I'm sure he remembers and will tell us. Something tells me he's not great at sharing, but you do know him better. Alright, where is Scar? He is over there. So we'll just teleport over there. Hello, 
postcard. Ah, Lulu, and what brings you to mingle with the commoners? I recovered a memory from Buzz's past and it showed you two fighting each other. What happened? Not what you think, I assure you. That pint-sized nuisance has been insisting that he'll keep the villains of the valley in line. I wonder how he'd react if he knew what really happened back then. He wasn't exactly the hero he claims to be. I wish I could tell you more, but I'm dreadfully hungry. I'm afraid my I'm afraid my memory is my memory gets a tag fuzzy when I haven't eaten. Alright, you want me to cook you some fish? Oh, I wouldn't dream of asking you for that, but since you've offered, here are two recipes your little rat chef has made me that I quite enjoy. Alright. Let's, let's see fish soup and tuna burger. So we'll go ahead and use these and we'll do another, another quest. Um... Let's see how many more do we have one two three four five so we have potentially five that we can do so let's go find Anna or whoever we run into first we'll zoom through here And there's Anna. Talk to you. There we go. Well, something's really been bothering me. Do you have some time to talk? Of course, what's wrong? Kristoff doesn't remember me, and I'm starting to wonder if he ever will. I'm sure his memories will come back in time. I hope so. I just wish they return a little faster. You have to have faith, Anna. What you and Kristoff have is stronger than any magic. It's love. You're right, and I know he had to give up his memories to help the village, but it still hurts. Poor Anna. Every time he looks at me, I know he's seeing a stranger. It's just hard. Oh, There has to be something we can do, some way to make him remember. I'm gonna go talk to him. I know there's some memory of me in there. We just have to shake it out. Hey. Right. So let's come out of here and see... If she comes out, I'm not 100% sure she will, but we'll see. Oh, okay, she does. Awesome. Jesus. She's freaking sprinting. Alright, let's look at the combo. Sorry, I don't know, I'm trying. I'm really, really trying. What about the Pikmin X beast to take up in the mountains near Dazzle Beach? Oh, we got somewhere. I remember climbing the bluffs near da Dazzle Beach with someone. <laughs> nice! I'm glad that he remembered something. I remember everything about it except you. I'm sorry, Anna. Oh. So Kristoff's memories aren't gone, they're in there somewhere. If we can bring him some reminders of things we used to do together, I bet he'd remember everything. It's perfect. Okay, Kristoff remembers climbing the bluffs near Dazzle Beach, just not with me. If we can get him his old climbing gear, I bet he'll remember more. Last time we went climbing, he slipped and fell, and his climbing gear was wrecked. He was only a little scratched up, but we left in a hurry to get a bandage. I bet his climbing gear is still there on Dazzle Beach. I'll go search the beach for it. 
and I'll keep trying to come up with more memories from the valley that I shared with Kristoff. Something has to fix this. Alright, also, there's a little alien. Um... And Dazzle Beach near the cliffs. Okay. So I'm assuming the cliffs is like over here. If I'm not mistaken. Or is it over here? I don't know what's considered the cliffs. the cliffs be like over here? I doubt it. Oh, you know what? It's probably the area over there. Like, it's probably around here somewhere. Right? Yeah, there it is. She's probably back at Remy's restaurant, right? Not yet. She's not there yet, but I think she's heading over. Oops. Bring these to her. This is it, Kristoff's climbing gear. Oh, but it's really wrecked. I don't think he'll remember much from looking at this. Um, all right, so what do we do? Good question. Maybe I could fix the climbing gear so it would be like how he remembered it? You'd do that? Lulu, you were the actual best. I think I know what I'll need to fix this. I'll come talk to you when I'm done. Alright, hopefully... Okay, so we need fabric and we need rope. So we need one more fabric and then we need three rope. And hopefully we have enough to do that. If not, we'll just... Hop on to the next quest. Let's see. Okay, one more fabric. And how do I make rope? Fiber. Do 20 fiber. Then we just need. And right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright. Let's go and bring that to Anna. And I'm assuming she's in here, but I could be wrong. Oh, yep, she's right here. Here you go. Wow, Lulu, this looks brand new. Once I show him this, he'll have to remember me. I know it. I'm going to bring this to Kristoff right now. Is that it? Oh, gotta leap here, and then she'll bring it to Kristoff, so I gotta walk. Yeah, that is Anna! Yee yee yee. Uh, 
I love Stitch so much. Let me just do... There we go. Let's worry, I've got something here. That should do the trick. Uh oh. Oh? Does he remember? Hello, Goofy. <laughs> This is my old climbing gear. You remember it? Oh. Alright, he's remembering bits and pieces. Oh, that's sweet. That's actually really sweet. What else does he remember? Seems like that's probably it. Yeah. I don't remember anything else. No worries. But hey, maybe me and that red-haired girl with the beautiful smile could start to make some new cream. Oh? That's actually great. I'm sad that Kristoff doesn't remember everything yet, but he remembers climbing the mountains with me, so I think we're on the right track. I'm gonna talk to Merlin. Maybe he can bring back the rest of Kristoff's memories. If magic took Kristoff's memories away, maybe that's what it'll take to restore it. Thanks for your help, Lulu. I'll let you know if Merlin has any ideas. Alrighty. And I guess we'll talk to... We'll do the daily. Alright. Now let's talk to Kristoff. Kristoff. There we go. Hey Lulu, I've got kind of a strange problem. I could use some help. Tell me everything. Well, you remember that spell we did that took away my memories of Anna and helped save the village? Some of my memories are starting to come back, but not many of them, and I can tell it's breaking on its heart. Have you ever forgotten something important? Uh, yeah. I forget a lot of things. <laughs> oh wow, that's a pretty big thing to forget. Say, you don't remember Anna, but do you remember her sister Elsa? Huh, that's funny. I do remember, remember Elsa, but in all my memories of her, it's like parts are foggy. I know someone else was with us, I just can't see who. Maybe if you'd still got the memories of Elsa and she's still got memories of you, she can help fill in what's missing from your memories with Anna. I'll go ask her. It's worth a try, Lulu. Thanks. Let me know if Elsa thinks of anything. Alright. Where is Elsa? Oh, she's at Remy's. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. go through here all right hello Elsa you're trying to restore Kristoff's memory I was hoping to talk to you about that Anna's so sad I have to do something to help her I spoke to Merlin he suggested a spell that might help it's not really my kind of magic but I know that you're really good with spells so it seems like a bit of a tricky enchantment. I know we can do this. So do I, let's get to work. We'll need to take an important memory that I share with Kristoff, then we'll enchant a block of ice to put a memory inside. I can make the ice, but the enchantment is dreamlike magic, you'll have to take care of that, Lulu. No problem, what do we need for the spell? We'll need some water, swamp water to be more specific. You should check the Glade of Trust for that. Then we'll need something from the earth to focus the spell. Try mining some aquamarines. I'll be back as soon as I've got everything we need. 
All right. So we're just going to go ahead and continue a different storyline. First, I'm going to make a shake, though, to give to Elsa. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Cool. So we'll go ahead and give this to her, and then we'll probably find Moana. Here is your order. Unless maybe at level 7? At level 7 do we... No, requires friendship level 10. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, we have to talk to Ariel, and then Nala and Simba. And that's it. Oh, also Moana. So, let's go find any of them. Whichever one we find first. And we'll do that friendship line until uh, we can't do anymore. And, uh, yee! Alright. Um, let's see. Where is everyone? I guess we'll go talk to Simba and Nala. They're literally right here. Hey Lulu, I have an idea of what might be contributing to all the stuff going wrong in the valley. Do you have time to talk? All ears. Okay, I have this theory about the forgetting and the night thorns. I've noticed how lots of folks come to you with all kinds of problems. Everyone around here seems to have a lot of worries. Maybe if they could let go of some of those worries, it would help. You know, relax and get a new perspective. My friends Timon and Pumbaa have a whole theory about not worrying too much. Hakuna Matata. Uh, and you know what? I think we should start with you. I've noticed you seem to wear those coverings all the time since you don't have fur. But they don't look very comfortable. Maybe you could find some that are. Good idea. I could put together the most relaxing and casual outfit of all time. That would be a fun challenge. Well, I can't wait to see what you come up with. Alright, so I guess I just need to change my outfit. But I'll just talk to him. Because... Why not? <laughs> but I don't think comfort is everyone's problem. Some folks around here are just downright cranky. Maybe a change of scenery would help. What can make it more relaxing? Growing up in the jungle with Timon and Pumbaa helped me a lot. There was an oasis there where we could really relax. And relaxing is a lot easier when the place you live is peaceful. There was all this green lush jungle and lots of places to just sit and enjoy the moment. What if the meadow could feel like that? Alright, I'll make it so it's relaxing so you feel like you're laying back in the oasis. I'll start by putting down some seating and add to the landscape. Alright. I don't really want to do that. Um, where did Nala go? Actually, let's talk to oh, Ariel. She. I just saw that she was here. There she is. Ah! Do you have time to help me with something Lulu? Of course, what do you need? Well, now that I'm back in the valley, I've started working on my collection again. I just love collecting human stuff. And there are a few things I'd love to have, but I can't find them anywhere. What are they? I'll keep an eye out for them. So thank you. I think the first one is called a whisk. Humans use it to scratch their feet. They use it to cook. <laughs> really? Oh, thank you for telling me. The second object is called a spinning top. It's so much fun to watch it twirl and twirl until it falls. Got it, one spinning top coming right up. And the third one is a magic box with an odd name, a gramophone. Humans put color on it and it spins to make pretty designs. Uh, it's for listening to music. That's so interesting. Under the sea we make music with our voices and instruments. The last one is called a story brick. It's a rectangle with words and pretty pictures that tells a story. I'd love to have a new one. Uh, a 
book. I'll have to remember that. I would love a new storybook for my collection. Before the forgetting, Wally and I used to exchange things from our collections. He might know where to find what I'm looking for. Great idea, I'll ask him. Alright, um... Let's go ahead and teleport here, and then we'll talk to Wally. And, uh, yee. Hello, Wally. Wally, do you remember Ariel? Nice girl, red hair, and a mermaid. You used to trade things with her, and now she needs your help. I knew you'd remember her. I need to find a whisk, a spinning top, a gramophone, and a storybook. Oh. Well, there's a storybook. Now can you help me find the whisk? Uh, you're pointing to a chef's hat. Oh, the whisk is at Remy's house. Noted. Okay. Now can you help me find the spinning top? Donald's house. Alright. And then the gramophone is in... Minnie's place. Alright. Do I have enough space to pick those up? Yeah, I do. Also, I have this clothing bag that I forgot about. Ooh! We got a white rain jacket. Cool. Alright. Um, let's go to Donald's house first, and then we'll go to Minnie's, and then Remy's. Actually, we'll go to Remy, then Minnie. Hopefully Donald's not sleeping. He is sleeping. Darn! Alright. That's okay though. Um, let's head to Remy's. What the heck is that? Oh! It's a red potato. So we have a golden potato and a red potato. That's weird. That is very, very weird. All right, let's go to Minnie's house and then we'll find Nala and uh, Moana. Let's see. Oh, here's the gramophone. Cool beans. All right, Nala is over there. So let's quickly go talk to her. Simba, I don't want to talk to you. 
Oh, I've been scouting the valley and it seems to have many of the things we have at home. Lots of water holes, gathering spots, and caves. And a few things I don't understand very well. But there's only- there's one thing missing that would make it better for lions. Do you think you could help me change that? Sure! Thank you, so in the Pride Lands, I'm in charge of finding food and keeping the Pride safe and fed. I'd like to do that for this place too, but there isn't a good hunting ground. Oh, what's up? Uh, I'll make you one so you feel more at home. That would be great. This is going to help everyone. We'll need to find a stretch of flat land somewhere without much to get in the way. I guess Dazzle Beach would be the closest thing we have. Alright. We want to create some cover for us to crouch behind and carve some trails to help bring Ray out of hiding. Oh, and there's one more thing that makes the territory good for lions. Giant scratching post? You mean like a tree? Not exactly. We need a spot where we can rest at the end of a long day. A large flat rock would be best. Maybe I've got something like that, but if not, Scrooge's store should. I'll check. While you do that, I'll keep scouting for danger. I'll come to talk to you once I've made Dazzle Beach Lion friendly. Alright, so I'm assuming... Oh! Order Scar's Lounging Rock from Scrooge's store, or gather it in your village if you already own it. I might already have it. I do not. In Monster Hunter Rise, you can have AIs to hunt with you. Yeah! You didn't know that? Uh, where is Noana? Oh, she's right outside of Scrooge's. Cool. We'll talk to her. I didn't know that until it was too late. Oh no. I'm sorry. Lou, well, I'm so glad you're here. There are night thorns growing in my fail. Do you know how to get rid of those things? I do. Thank you. They just brought it up out of nowhere. Move the night thorns from Moana's house. All right. Let's go do that. I'm assuming it's inside her house. Oh geez, that is a lot. I don't like that the the quest started thing is still on the screen. But I guess it's just a glitch. Memory appears, see what it holds. Alright. Now I have to save up again to buy it. Oh no! Sorry. It looks like Moana in the Forest of Valor. I remember something about some flowers. That makes sense. I don't remember what it was precisely. Maybe if we go to the forest and pick some together, I'll remember more. Find some of the flowers from Moana's memory. They were the little, like, lilies. I think they're Lily of the Valleys is what they're called. Or at least they're called something like that. Do I have enough space? I do. Maybe they weren't Lily of the Valleys. Do they specifically have to be the uh, the white ones? Uh, let me use. 
I thought it was going to be the same thing as Monster Hunter World. Ah, gotcha. Oh, no, it doesn't have to be just the white one. Cool. Oops. I don't have enough space. There we go. Easy space. I can't wait until I finish like my little storage area. It's gonna make things like ten times easier. Let's cross the little bridge and see if there's any more. Need three more. Boom and boom. Oh, another memory. Ah, Maui's there too. Interesting. I remember I was with Maui. What we were doing what were we doing looking for flowers in the forest? Maybe he remembers something about this. Let's go ask him. Alright. Let's go find where Maui is. And then if we get stuck with this quest and everything, then we will end it. I don't know where he is. Oh, he's all the way in the Glade of Trust. What the heck? Very weird and wacky. Ooh, we got some aliens, though. Hello, Maui. Hello, good to see you. What can I help you with? Do you remember anything about flowers? I don't remember anything specific about flowers. Let's see. I was mining some rocks in the Forest of Valor, but there was something else. Yes, I remember. Moana was picking fruit for me because I got hungry. What? Let's look at this, uh, this memory. Alright, so that's the blueberry bush. Let's talk to Moana. Another piece of the memory. And it matches what Maui said. I remember this part. I have a feeling we weren't alone. Ugh, I'm missing something. Let's go pick some fruit in the forest. If it's like before, I might remember more. Alrighty. Let me just like run around and see if there's any more little alien guy. We gotta pick six fruit from the Forest of Valor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell some stuff. So my inventory is pretty full. Let's not sell the um, We'll sell the eggs. Sell those. And also the butter. And also the ginger. These. Cool beans. And then we'll just teleport over the map. And we'll pick some fruit. Alright, so we're getting three from there, three from here. Let's see who else was with them. Um... 
Oh my gosh, it's the little pig! The little pig from Moana. I forget what its name is. Alulu, oh, how could I forget about my friend Pua? That's right. That cute little pig must be so scared. Pua wasn't with us when Maui and I left the village after the forgetting. Pua must be hiding somewhere. Pua is so cute. <laughs> Definitely, but also very lost. I need to find my friend. Can you help me, Lulu? I will help you find Pua because you're my friend. Thank you, I really appreciate your friendship. Pua must be hiding somewhere in the village. I bet we can lure Pua out of hiding with something that eat. Coconuts would be perfect. Alright. Let's gather some coconuts. Some here, and we gotta bring Moana the coconuts. We'll just teleport here, and hopefully, she's still there. Here you go, Moana. I have everything I need, thank you. With these coconuts, I can figure out a way to lure Pua out. Oh, another leader shard. Oh. What of the leader shard that just appeared? Appeared where? Oh, what is this book? Is that what this is? No, not. Oh, this is the shard. They have a quest with Minnie, though. Here you go, Moana. Thank you, Lulu. I'll hold on to this shard along with the other one. And I'll figure out a way to lure Pua out of hiding. When it's ready, I'll let you know so we can find Pua together. Awesome! Alright. Um... Oh, we have a new quest with Moana. Cool. We also unlocked something with me. It's this one. Is she in her house currently? It is. Awesome. And we'll talk to Moana after this one. Here you go. Hey Minnie, I found this book lying around in the meadow. I thought it might have been Merlin's, but it's got notes and your handwriting stuck inside it. Oh thank you, I've been looking for that everywhere. What were you doing with a spell book? Mickey caused another broom mishap? Oh no, I think Mickey learned his lesson about that the first time. I borrowed some books from Merlin because, well, I wanted to find out everything I could about what happened to me. What happened to you? You mean when you- when I disappeared to the here and there. I've been having some trouble sleeping. I'm just so worried it might happen again. Oh, Poor Minnie. But it's not me I'm worried about now. If I could disappear, then anyone could. Sometimes I look at the other villagers and I'm frightened if they're starting to disappear right before my eyes. I just know there has to be an answer somewhere in Merlin's library. There must be some way we can make sure no one ever disappears again. But I can't make heads or tails of any of these books. I'll go talk to Merlin and see if he has any ideas. We have to solve, the, uh, solve this. I want you to feel safe here, Minnie. You're so kind, Lulu, and I do mostly. I was trying to figure all this out without bothering Merlin, but you're probably right, we should ask him for more help. I'll keep trying to see if there's anything these books in these books that might be a clue while you talk to Merlin. Alright. Let's go chat up Merlin. 
and uh, we'll see what's going on. Where is Merlin? Oh, he's outside of his house. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alulu, I believe I know precisely why you've come to speak to me today. It's Minnie, isn't it? She's gotten herself in quite a jumble, worrying she might disappear again, hasn't she? It's Minnie, alright. She asked me to come talk to you. We need a wizard for this. Suppose you do for matters such as this. Is there anything in your magic books that might help? Actually, I've given it quite a lot of careful thought, and I think I know precisely how we can fix this predicament. We'll use the most powerful kind of magic there is. First, you'll need to speak to some villagers and ask them what they like best about Minnie. Alright, maybe I should ask Elsa, Anna, and Moana. And listen closely, this part is key. Once you've spoken to them, you must bring me some dream shards. With all that, we can sort out Minnie's dilemma, or at least, I very much hope we can. Alright. Now, where is all of them? Okay. They're all just kind of wandering around. Elsa's in Remy's restaurant, though. But Anna is literally right here. No, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Uh-oh, you have that look on your face, Lulu. That I have something strange and possibly magical to ask you about, so don't ask too many follow-up questions, look. Okay. Bingo. <laughs> ha, I knew it. Well, let's hear it. How can I help? It's simple, just tell me what you like best about Minnie. What I like best about Minnie? Oh. Um... That's a tough one. There's so much to like. To love, really. I guess if I have to narrow it down, I say that what I like best about Minnie is how she always makes me smile. She's so kind, but also so funny. She always notices the little things around here. She makes me laugh almost as much as Olaf does. Did that help? That was perfect, Anna. Thanks for the help. Alright, let's go talk to Elsa. Hi, Elsa. Is there something I can help you with, Lulu? I need you to tell me the thing you love most about Minnie. Can you think of anything? Well, I can think of a lot of things I love about Minnie, but there's one that comes to mind the most. When you talk to Minnie, you just know that she's truly listening to you. She gives wonderful advice, but really it's the listening that sets her apart. Was that all you needed? That's it. Thanks, Elsa. You've been a big help. All right, so laugh and then listening. Those are the two things so far. So we gotta find Moana now. E. Let's see where she's at. Um, oh, she's outside of her house, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, oh gosh, she's running away. Oh no, Moana. Moana, no. What a great day to sail. Oh, uh, let's do this one. Hey Moana, quick question. What do you like best about Minnie? About Minnie? Hmm. Well, there's... I've got it. What makes Minnie the most special about her is his strength of heart. No matter what storm comes Minnie's way, she just hoists the sails and keeps going. She never gives up. And she knows everyone in the village, so she knows so many great stories. Now that I think about it, she kind of reminds me of Grandma Tala. Alright. Let's head back to Merlin. Wherever he may be. All right. 
right. Here you go, Merlin. I spoke to the other villagers and gathered these shards. Is there anything else we need for the spell? Spell? What spell? Oh! Oh dear. Uh-oh. Well, I'm afraid we've had a bit of a misunderstanding. I merely needed these dream shards for my research. Terribly sorry. I thought you understood. I'm afraid there isn't any sort of spell or enchantment that will solve Minnie's problem. Oh. Not to worry, there certainly is. You see, what protects Minnie, what protects all of us here, is an altogether different sort of magic. Friendship, love, care, that's what binds this valley together, and kind words and smell favors are the source of all this magic. Interesting. Minnie simply needed needs to be shown that spirit will never leave this place. So that's why you wanted me to talk to some of the other villagers. If I tell Minnie what they said, they'll remind her of the love that binds us all together and that everyone is safe here as long as we never forget it again. I'll give it a try. Thanks, Merlin. Alright. Let's go talk to Minnie. Uh, she might be in her house? Yeah, she is. Oh, hello, Lulu. Was Merlin any help sorting out this magical model? The books he lent me had so much interesting information, but nothing that will help us. Um, he helped put some things in perspective. Oh good, Merlin's so helpful that way. What did he tell you? He told me that there's a magic more powerful than any simple spell holding this village together. It's a kind of magic that runs on... Kind words. Really? That does sound like a very special kind of magic. Merlin got me to talk to some of the other villagers so we could remind you of how important you are around here. Elsa told me about how you're always there to listen to her whenever she needs a friend, and Anna told me that nobody can make her laugh like you do, except maybe Olaf. And Moana, she said that what she loves best about you is your strength of heart, and that you never give up no matter what. Oh my, I don't know what to say, Lulu. That is so sweet. She's freaking adorable. I love her. <laughs> and I'm very grateful, but how does that stop us from disappearing into the here and there? Because that's the magic mini. We'll never disappear again as long as we never stop caring for each other. Of course, it's so simple. I'm a little embarrassed that I didn't see it before. Well, I guess I can return these books to Merlin. As long as you and I are here, I know everything will be okay. Because I'll always make sure everyone knows how loved they are. I'll always protect the valley. I know you will. Oh, I just thought of one more thing. Remember how I asked you for some help building that rustic clock tower? I gathered up some clay to get you all started. Oh my gosh, bless. Hopefully now it won't be too hard to gather the rest. Uncle Scrooge is so excited about the project that he lent us some funding. Here you go. Honestly, bless her. <laughs> Because, holy shit, that one was just, ugh. Oh, wait, that actually, oh my gosh, wait. Okay, you've gathered everything, now that's left to do is craft the rustic clock tower and find a spot for it. Oh my gosh. I didn't think that would actually, like, push us over the edge to actually complete it. So I'm excited. <laughs> I think I've had that quest since, like, two streams ago of Dreamlight Valley, I think. Something like that. But I am glad that it's finally over. <laughs> Alright. 
go here. Go to furniture. Oh, we're missing hardwood. Iron ingots. Gotcha. Okay, so we're not done with it. We're done with the clay portion though, which is all that matters in my eyes. Um, so now we just gotta talk to Moana. So we'll go ahead and do that. And offline I'll gather the rest of the hardware and stuff so the next time that we stream we'll be able to make that clock tower. from the beach. So we should be able to run into her, hopefully. Yeah, there she is. Hey Lulu, I put my plan to work after you gave me the coconuts. Want to come with me to see if Pua came out to get them? Of course. I don't know what fingers crossed means, but it sounds good. Follow me. Right. What is that? Is that the coconuts? Look, someone tried to open the coconuts, but they didn't manage to do it. I bet it's Pua. Great news, where did Pua go? Not to the beach, that's for sure. Could you track Pua and I'll stay in case my friend comes back here? Find a pig, we much think like a pig. That's smart, Lulu. Pigs are good trackers. Pua will be thirsty after trying to open all those coconuts. Try to find a place where Pua would feel safe that has plenty of fresh water. Get fresh water. I think Pua went to the meadow. Yes, good idea. Please check there. Alright. Let's see if they're in the meadow. Over here. No. Oh, there's some some paw prints or hoof prints. If Pua got water, next would be getting a tan. Definitely not. No. Okay. Also, Pua has already been to the beach. I guess finding something to eat. I know where Remy's place in the village. Pua must have gone there. Let's go see. Alrighty. I didn't know that pigs could get sunburned, but it makes sense. Pua barely touched this food. My friend must have run off. Before we got here. There's only one place where Pua could have gone, and it's the forest. That makes the most sense. If Pua got frightened by something, the long grass and shades from the tree would feel safe. Let's go see. Righty. Uh, let's see. Two bees over here. Does not seem like it. Maybe across the bridge? Hi, Venus! Would it be somewhere over here? No. Okay, so it's the other side. Yeah, there we go. There's some paw prints. Or hoof prints. 
Oh! There's Pua. There's also a leader shard. Thank you, Lulu. You saved my friend. Having Pua here brings back so many memories. I have a feeling we'll need to do something else with these leader shards. I just don't know what yet. We should definitely talk later, okay? Alrighty. Bye, Moana. And I think... That is all the quests that we can do at the moment. Yeah, because it's level 10, and then there's a hidden requirement, another hidden requirement, uh, Remy level 10, Olaf level 7, level 10, 7, level 10, level 7. Alright. So, yeah. I think that is where I'm going to end it for today. Um, I appreciate you guys so much for coming and hanging out. Um, I'm gonna see really quick. I'm gonna look and see if there is anyone is live at the moment. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Zeal is currently online. Um, they're currently playing Pokemon Inclement Emerald. So, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go and raid out to them. Uh, I just gotta grab their username. Bop, 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 bop. There we go. Alrighty. I appreciate you guys so, so much for coming and hanging out. Uh, please go show Zeal all the love and support. And I will see you guys either tomorrow, depending on how my body feels, uh, for some Pokemon. And if not tomorrow, then I will see you guys next time. Alright. Bye, guys.